Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the REC Podcast, brought to you by the REC Toy Cast. I'm your host, Roman Chavez, and with me as always... Eric Icarus. Eric, what's going on, dude? You can find us on the gram, at REC Podcast. You can follow myself at Roman REC Podcast, and you can follow yourself. Gulag underscore J underscore Will Den. Uh, well done? Well done. Well done, Wielden. Well done. Um, how are you doing, my friend? Dude, I'm okay. Yeah? Hang yeah. in there. Hang in tough. New yeah. kids on the block style, baby. <laughs> All right. The, the, the right stuff. You in know the what I mean? right stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I almost did the Weird Al one, which is... The white stuff? Yes, thank you. Oreos! Thank you. Yeah, man. What's in the middle, you know? <laughs> Who knows? Who, Who knows, knows yeah. man? Um, yeah, Eric had to stop and get us some coffee on the way in, man. Dragon. We're both dragon. Dragon, you know. This, this, this going back to work part-time is for the birds, you know? <laughs> Uh, Eric's Eric's been pulling lots of twelve hour shifts, and I'm I like, have. like, oh, this six hour shift I did today is, <laughs> and I need a day off tomorrow. You know, I need one. Um, you know who got who got themselves a job? Who? Dan DiDio. Yeah, we were hiring. <laughs> yeah, is he a bus boy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's busting for you. He's all right. You'll be okay. Uh, Dan DiDio, former uh, co publisher of DC Comics, we've talked about it a couple times. He lost his job uh, early on in the COVID. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's just it's just crazy. <laughs> Uh, has got a job. He, yeah. he, you know, I thought, you know, I didn't think he would go to Image because he's got kind of a, uh, he's got kind of a bad rep with like talent. Okay. Um, which, you know, kind of leads into it. You know, the guys who, it's one of the things, the guys who love, like him, love him, and the right. guys who don't okay. hate him. Sure. Our boy Rob has, has a lot of choice words for Really? Him. Yeah. Um, yeah, like they had several fallings out because like in the New 52, which was Dan's like, Big, you know, that was like that a was baby. baby. Yeah. Um. Uh. Rob was doing the Deathstroke comic there, cool. and then left abruptly. And uh, uh, it turns cool. out he, him, and Dan were having some type of friction. I'm not sure what it is. I haven't heard the whole story. I'm sure. I'm sure Rob will tell us. I got to tell you some some stuff off off air that that, that you'll get a kick out of from from Rob. <laughs> but man, this is the long way. He's uh, yes. he's working at the Kubert School. Um, the Kubert School is uh from Joe Kubert. Mm? Uh, you know famous obviously comic book artist his sons mm-hmm. andy and and uh oh my god i always forget the other one's names uh they are you know fantastic artists but yeah he's got the, the school that's basically like for i don't think it's like just graphic design but right. it's like in all art but he's going to be teaching a cat a class online uh from concept to sale sure so he's going to try to help these you know teach a class and try to help you get your your comics picked up by mm-hmm. by the big publishers you know but, what they say those who can't teach oh my god Oh my God! They do say that, and this is why. <laughs> oh man! You know, hey, that guy—he was big top poop over there. He was, he was <laughs> indeed, man. It's kind uh, of a bummer, though. Yeah, I've never censored that, and uh, I had to do that right off the right off the cuff there. Um, you know, for like eighteen years, yes. you know, he's vice president of mm-hmm. such and such editorial, blah blah blah. You know, co-publisher. So. Uh, this is definitely a step down, but I think it's a. Uh, it, it could help people. You know, even, there might even be some some uh, benefits. Like, oh, if Dan says to do it, maybe I should do the opposite thing. You know, <laughs> um, hey, the guy seems real again. Seems really cool online, but you know, you hear you, you hear things the way you yeah, hear things. Of course, uh, he should have his own podcast. I, why I'd, not? I'd be very interested in. That. I think he'd be making more money than he, teaching. I, he might. People still don't understand how to make. We don't understand how to make money in a podcast. Uh, but it's but saturated. Uh, you we are not a your, known um, yeah. person. Yeah, no, and that's fine. You know, we, we do it. We do it for the gram, right? We do it for the gram. I do it for the n- for the nookie. Sure. There we go. Well, let's do that. Um, <laughs> speaking of not of nookie, but of just interesting things in comics, Watchmen, yes. your your beautiful uh, yeah, uh-huh. HBO series, uh-huh. uh, took home a bunch of Emmys. Uh, that's the rumor. Most notably, the mm-hmm. uh, uh, best. Limited series. I, I, I have to agree with whatever it was up against. It deserved to win. Yeah. Um, it's kind of the first comic book adaptation to win like a top prize. Sure. With the exception of, of Heath Ledger as an, an Best Supporting Actor in Oscar. But this thing ended up taking home 11 Emmys, including uh, Best Actress in a Limited Series uh, from Regina King. And then uh, Damon Lindelof won for uh, a writer. Did my boy yeah. Trent win? Um, I didn't. I didn't look at all eleven. I'm I just kind of picked that. Yeah, yeah. Real quick, that one. But see, real see quick, didn't one. didn't um, uh, Kill Killmonger win for Black Panther? I could have swore he won an Oscar for that. No, no, not at all. Okay, yeah, he wasn't even nominated. He wasn't. No, Michael B. Jordan. No, uh, uh-uh. uh. Okay. Yeah. 
I thought and, he was, and dude. I don't think. And, per, and, and what, you seem shocked in terms I, of. I like, really. I, I thought he got it because he was amazing in that. Oh, and, see, I disagree. I, I didn't like the Killmonger as much. I liked parts of the Killmonger, but see, I, he's one of my favorite villains. Yeah, I like, I like, I like a lot of what they did with him, but I don't think that they that they that they stuck the landing with him. Right, and I didn't like some of the. I didn't like some of the direction that they took with uh, Killmonger. Like it felt. I needed more. Actually, it would have been nice to have seen seen him show right. up in a uh, in another film beforehand. Like us start like seeing. I, I don't know. We didn't get enough of him, and right. then, so it, it didn't it didn't cook right. That that that, that cake didn't bake for me. <laughs> All right. Really? Uh, so I, yeah. I thought he was a completely fleshed out three D character with. Awesome motives. I, I like know? again. I liked all a lot of the parts. It just it didn't stick for me. It didn't stick. For okay. Me. So for me, it's definitely not an Oscar winning performance. Okay, fair um, enough. Yeah, I'm curious if if Trent won any uh, any any musical acclaim for it because he usually just does. got uh, nods for it. Him okay, and, him and Atticus. Okay, which is uh, I know I don't know what won. the soundtrack was amazing. First sure, of all, I, sure. I actually have it. Yeah, there's three volumes. Oh, of um, course. Only one. I think only volume one's on a vinyl right now. Okay, but it's. It's not Nine Inch Nails easy yeah. at all. It's definitely... Um, Which I think has been to Trent's benefit. It gives time. him another outlet. Absolutely. And it does... It's And the thing is, and, and you can do it being a big Nine Inch Nails fan, yes. I am such a spectator, it's not even funny, is that I think he needs to do this kind of... And I'll say bougie Hollywood stuff, mm -hmm. because he has that itch and he needs to scratch right. it. And I think that it doesn't spill into his... His per the nine inch nails, nine -inch music nails because right. he has a way to he has a way to, to siphon that it. makes total sense, dude. Yeah, it makes then, a lot of sense. And you know the difference between him siphoning something and making is he puts on his pants with both legs and he makes cool records. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I was I'm, again. I'm shocked he didn't win. Yeah, it's fine. At least he got the nod. Yeah, but um, yeah, I think I mean he just add the soundtrack adds so much to this. You haven't watched all of it yet. Have I have. I've watched any of it. Okay. Um, and I mean the credits for a girl with the dragon tattoo is some of the best musical oh, stuff I've seen with, in a film with the uh, immigration song yeah Karen, oh, it's just, singing, it you know, works so yeah, well it works so well but um I am so see I, I again I'm so happy that this is getting its due yes. honestly man this this yeah. was the story they told in here was was scary mm -hmm. because where we're at right now yeah this was reflecting things in a precognitive way it's yeah. like they were able to kind of see what was going to happen it felt like they were from what I read and I'm mm -hmm. just again I'm just spectating um it from what I was seeing, people were like, it felt like they they saw what happened in advance and then were trying to tell yes, us about absolutely. it. You know, it, which is freaky because I feel like that's kind of the concept of Doctor Manhattan. In a way, he sees time streams. <laughs> what are you seeing in terms of like? I don't. It would be nice to we we need to talk to some people in mm -hmm. in, in the black audience because I, I I wonder how if it was received at all. Because I don't hear anybody talking about it. Because uh, not a lot of people watched it, and and that's my thing. Like, is this because I keep hearing, um, uh, you know, it's 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 a mirror of what's going on. Mm -hmm. It's Absolutely. it's it's so pertinent to what to mm -hmm. what's going on mm -hmm. right now, and I just don't know. I haven't seen it, it's and funny I love this stuff. Now you know? it's now we're in this part of defund the police, mm -hmm. and that was a big part of of. This show of the story was defunding the police. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it was. Again, I, I can't say enough about this because I don't want to say too much about it because it, there's a lot. There's a lot to give away in small details. And this Lindelof actually wrote a very coherent story for yeah. once, dude. And Regina King as Sister um, Sister Knight. Yeah, just amazing. Which dude. is which and, is awesome. I'm glad that Regina because that was the oh. Everybody's good in this, but Regina King is taking it to the next level. There were moments when she was acting upset or sad, and you 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 genuinely feel what she's feeling. It's hard to do that. It's hard yeah. to convey that as an as seen being over um, ran with uh, you know entertainment stimuli. stimuli. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get that now. Oh yeah, and she did it in spades, and she was amazing. She real quick. There was a fight scene in here where you know how they kind of amp up women's strength mm -hmm. for fighting. Mm -hmm. She fought somebody twice her size, and I saw it, and she won. Mm -hmm. But it's like I could see her winning like that. They yeah. actually did the fight. Whoever choreographed the fighting was was a genius. Nice. It's like oh, she's using uh, jujitsu. Mm -hmm. She's not trying to like you know go right at him. Mm -hmm. You know, so she's tiring him out. It was little things like that that made this show way better, like so much more better. You know, I, and I love the attention to detail on things like that. You know, we see that a lot again in Joss Whedon properties. Oh, yeah, where, yeah. Uh -huh. um, you, you know, we saw it kind of very much progress with the Slayers and how their fighting was very, very 
poor early on. It's stilted. And then and then it gets much, much better. Yes, and by the time loop. by the time we're in Angel, those fight choreographers, they pretty got good. it down. Yeah, you know? Good. Um it's great to see something like but again, nobody watched it, which which stinks. No, well, you're, uh, to your uh, other question real, real quick, were you saying that you, you don't think there's a black audience watching this? Or was you, uh, you don't hear it? Well, my, my thing is, is that it sounds like, again, from spectating, it sounds like it could be very important and influential to the to black culture. It, it sh- it, and it should be. And, but I don't, I don't know. Because I don't see a lot of people talking about it in general. opens up with the uh, Tulsa race riots yeah. mm-hmm. on Black Wall Street, which... It's not talked about. Mm-hmm. This is something that happened in this country, yeah. not that long ago, yeah. and it's actually and it opens up with this, and you're and you're forced to watch it, yeah. Which is, it's like, oh, this happened. This mm-hmm. isn't comic book stuff. No. This really happened. And um, how much does the show feel like Snyder's vision of it? Does it feel no, at it's all completely like, different? No, okay, no. I'm curious. There's no feel to it. I mean, okay. just maybe the um, the way, maybe like maybe the vibrant colors yeah. pop. And that's the only. And they do. They try to do a couple slow mo, Snyder things, okay. but you you can't mess with the man on that. Yeah, dude, yeah, Snyder's yeah. got that. Michael down, Bay dude. can swing the camera around and things can explode. <laughs> and don't tell me you don't get amped every time you see it. And yeah, that's if true, there's I a do. hallway slow mo fight, angled from the fist hip through, it's amazing. It's yes. amazing. Um, yeah, I'm curious if if. Uh, uh, you know, because I just don't hear, I, I don't hear very many people in the black community talk about it. I think this would, if they, I think this is something that if they watched this now, like mm-hmm. they would, their minds would be blown because like, oh my God, this is totally reflective of everything just because the, the concepts of race and political dissonance are just forefront. Yeah. And they're playing, and they're, you know, there's a celebrity, because I think he's a president in the comic book, Robert Redford. Okay. Is he, a, I, I don't know if he's... You know, he was running against Nixon in, in the comic, but he's actually president in, Interesting. in this. So yeah. it's it's Is it real Robert Redford or is it uh, a just the name. Okay. You don't ever oh, see okay. him. Cool. Yeah. Um but um yeah, dude, uh if you get eight hours, <laughs> which I know, dude. Yeah. But it, it, I think this is very important. Yeah. You know, this 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 is something that I think in ten years is gonna be lauded over. Interesting. You know what Interesting. I mean? I'm I'm waiting for the adaptation for it makes no sense to me why there hasn't been a comic book adaptation of this I version think of the story. it's one of those things where it's just too perfect and went to Oh, no. Uh, AT&T and Warner, they don't know how to run. <laughs> because because if they did, you'd have this comic. You're, absolutely. You know, I, I have nothing against that. I would just kind of be a pretentious Oh, com- no, no. I totally see um, your point. But it's... Um, oh, my God. Because, I mean, because if they wanted to be pretentious, they wouldn't have made it because... They're, this was... They're yeah, boy. this was a totally... Um, art. Art funded pro- uh, art project funded mm-hmm. by you know, yeah. HBO because yeah. it didn't get a lot of viewers. Yeah, and the set design, the actors. That I mean, this cost this probably lost them so much money. Yeah, but I think they. I think every company has to put money into something like this so they get the uh, gravitas, mm-hmm. get the awards. Yeah, you know. But um, I what else did it win? So it won. Uh, Regina it, King won, and it won the the, the top prize for the TV yeah. It won series. best li- it won best limited series. Damon Lindelof got best writer for a limited series. It got eleven wins. I j- those were the ones that sure. I picked over yeah, real yeah, quick totally. that I thought I thought were worth uh, talking about because um, especially with, with Regina King's performance, like she's the reason I want to watch it, and I just I don't have HBO Max, right? So I just I just need to get it. It's one of those things. There needs to be enough for me to. I don't want to just get it and then like I've already seen Thrones. Like there's not a bunch of stuff that's yeah. in the library that that's I'm like, true, oh, I gotta watch. It was a watch. point when HBO was like, I had to have it. Yes, because it was you know Thrones, yeah. True Detective. When you when know? Justice League comes out, even though I don't want to watch it, like we're gonna have to watch it for the show, yeah. and then and then we'll get there, and then in in two in two years when that happens, I'll be like, <laughs> guys, you need to go out and watch Watchmen. You know, I have a bad habit of doing that where people are on something for a long time, sure. and then they kind of slow down and then mm-hmm. I get into it and burn through it. Case in point, The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. Uh, a friend of the show, Casey Dukes, been telling me to watch that for years and he had never watched Legend of Korra so I burned through Avatar and then I burned through Korra and I'm like, yo dude, when are you going to watch yeah, Legend of Korra? Get man. Yeah, oh, that so is I, I so have crazy. My, I have my own issues. Marvel is going mm-hmm. to have something um, that I don't think is going to be socially impactful at all. But it is, I just, I don't know, not, not just based off the trailer, but the WandaVision trailer actually yes. debuted uh-huh. in its entirety. Mm-hmm. And just Full as trailer, we've talked yeah. about in the past, I have no idea what to think about this, uh, this other than I want to see it. What yes. did you think of the trailer? That, I'm with you. Um, yeah. Very confused. Yes. And I think that's the point. Yeah. Obviously. And it's, um, no, I'm with you. I, I don't know what 
it's going on, yeah. but I want to watch it. It's more, it's the intrigue. It's one of those rare instances where you're, you're giving me something, but you're giving me absolutely nothing. Yeah. Except eye candy and, yes. and the allure of, oh, what is this about? Yes. And that, that's what's drawing me to it. And the fact that Scarlet Witch is one of my favorite comic book characters yeah. in history. So. And, and our girl does it good, man. I love uh, her. She's amazing. Elizabeth Olsen, and she really, I hope she doesn't get fatigue. Right. Um, because there's probably other things that she can be doing. Mm. But, uh, man, like she's so good in this role. She I really is. hope that they that they carry it through to our House of M type scenario. Maybe we don't have a, a main event, but maybe it is a movie sure. in which we set that up. Because, spoilers, when Wanda Maximoff... Um, uh, you know, takes away the mutants and uh, by saying no more mutants and using her powers to alter reality. Yeah. Um, there's a great moment when the dust settles and I won't say how it settles. And when the Avengers and the X-Men win the day, not everything is, is, is put right. And nobody knows where the, where the Scarlet Witch is. You just kind of like see her in like Hungary or, or any, any of those, you know, Eastern European Latveria. countries. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, she is in, in Children's Crusade. She ends up in Latveria. That's oh, nice. Right. Okay. Yeah, uh, Doom. Uh, Doom takes her as his uh, as his bride because she, when she does Works. what she does, yeah. she kind of makes herself forget what happened. Right, right. That so was she's yep. just like straight Wanda Maximoff, mm -hmm. like a like a lady, and uh, and then um, what's his face? Doom is is trying to. He's like, look. I wanted to study her and I want to, you know, keep her safe, but also like, that's a lot of power and I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we get some of that doom. You think he does it with a mask on? He better. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. I was just curious about that. It just popped into my head. I've never once thought of doom as like a person who has like, who has sex. But yeah, when he's like trying to make the Scarlet Witch's bride, yeah, obviously yeah. he does. They give her the doom boom. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this doom bot. <laughs> uh, but the idea of, in the trailer spoilers, if you haven't watched it, that like, it, it's obviously all in his mind, but is right. she there? Like, I'm, I'm curious if she's not even there or if that's just his thought of her being there. Right. I, what, what I, she's there. Okay. Because she's the Scarlet Witch. True. She would at this point, no, I would say uh, off camera between this time, she's probably learned, uh, cause she has this thing called, if you don't know kids, it's called chaos magic, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, or hexing. She has hex bolts and chaos magic and she, it's very undefined. It's very undefined, but I love the idea. And actually Brian Bendis fleshes this out a bit Oh really? when he's talking during, um, uh, Avengers disassembled mm -hmm. where, uh, you know, we can tell that she's the one who's like causing all these like terrible events, right? And they're telling Do like Doom shows up. And he's like, "Yo, the magic here is off." Oh, and they're like, "Well, th he's like, I need to know more about about Wanda Maximoff." And they're like, "Well, she's a mutant and she has chaos magic." And he's like, "Look, I can tell you, there's no such thing it's as chaos, chaos magic. magic." He's like, "So I don't know what that is." So his thing is like, "Oh." She has mutant magic. Right, right. He's like, and the problem with that is that magic is a discipline, and right, for her, yes. it wasn't earned. Right, right. So that's why she can't control that it. Makes sense. Which is awesome. That's what a, a very what a cool way to, so to say awesome. that. Very cool way to say that. Oh my god. Yeah, Bendis, like I said, when, and this was just like a little force for issue thing, and it made so much sense. Yeah, finally, it actually makes now I kind of isn't that great? Powers more uh, a little bit. Uh, I'm glad I could do that for you. Honestly, because like I remember reading her, and be like, oh, I think they just. She needs to do what the writers yeah. need her to do yeah. at this point. But yeah. now they kind of defined it like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. She wouldn't necessarily have a um, certain type of magic she uses because she yeah. doesn't know what she's doing. Do you, you know? remember Agatha Harkness, her like yes. her, uh, her teacher? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, there's this yeah. great thing where they, you know, after after she disappears, after they after they uh, 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 undo the House of M thing and they go to find her master and like her body's just there and it's been there for a long time. <laughs> Um, yeah, dude, it's, dude, it's so Ugh. absolutely bananas, yeah. you know, it's, Ugh. and it's such a great story and I don't think it gets the love that it no, deserves. No, it doesn't. Now I will say I was a let down mm -hmm. when I first went through it, but man, when I went back it's good. Yeah. on all of Bendis' stories, when you go back, he really does do the thing that I love, uh, where he does set, you know, things See, in motion. Yeah, yeah. He's like, Hey, yeah, I'm salt bay this thing up and, uh, and you don't see it during, but man, when you go back, if, right. you, if, if there was a Bendis story that you didn't like with the exception of Siege, Siege is terrible, but everything else, uh, you know, the, you know, House of M, uh, the, um, Secret Invasion, there's so many just excellent stories where you're just like, man, 
this is like one giant thing. Like, like he, like I was playing. It was, it was the whole thing. I was playing checkers, and he was playing chess the right, whole time. Right. And did he stick all of the landings? No, no but, but, but I dug it. But, but the big ones, you know. But um, real, real quick, your sorry. question. No, sorry, I, sorry. I, yeah. I, I was the one that detracted yeah. that one. But uh, I would say she's at the point in her career as the Scarlet Witch that she is going to be able to go into, you know, this, this you know, yeah. go in there, you know, actually put herself there, not mm-hmm. just a mental project- projection, but she's there. Maybe we get a shot of the astral plane, like her using the astral plane yeah. to get in there, you know? Seeing Xavier. Oh, God. Multiverse of madness be? crap, you know? Dude, what if, oh, my God, what if everything is misdirection right now? What if Wanda's going to be the villain for, for, for phase four? That's the way to do it. What if that happens? Dude. That would be interesting. We need to clip this because this is interesting. Um, this that would be the great, deal. like that would be because because we have her in a show. We have her. We know that she's going to be in Doctor Strange. Yes. Like, is there? Yeah, is there a version where she, where we're building up for her to be the villain? The I could. It would make. Oh my god! You and I but, can but, hurt them physically. Yes. But you can rip them apart from the inside. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Because all, the pieces line up, man. Because that's how we get Tony Stark back for a little bit too. Yeah, for if, sure. If, if just for one thing, yeah. Reality altering stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, man. The juices are flowing. No, I think man. this is what's gonna. Oh my god, why how not? crazy would that be? T- turn it on its head. Why like not? give us like we're all King the Conqueror, Galactus, yeah, yeah. Annihilus. No, no, no. It's little Wanda Maximoff yeah. who lost her brother, yep. who lost her 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 the love of her yeah. life yeah. to this uh to this fight that she never wanted to be a part of. Right. She, she wanted just to help wanted, her country. Yeah, that's it. And then she ends up helping like Americans, yeah, who were kind of put her, you know, basically wanted to just poke and prod her, dude. She was done. Mm-hmm. I can see her. Oh my god, this this. I, I if they don't build up to this, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. It now. could be. It could this be could be amazing. It could be. This could be the biggest swerve of all time. And, and, mm, you know, a swerve. Baby. Get that <laughs> swerve on, man. Oh my god. And maybe she. I hope they bring back the Quicksilver for a little while. I do. Too. I thought the actor was great. I I've heard rumors, and maybe people don't know this, but I've heard rumors that he's been on set. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've heard. I've heard. J- I can't remember his name. It's not Jason Peters. It's uh, some dude. Yeah, I can't remember the dude from uh, Kick Ass. Kick Ass. Yeah. Um, Kick Ass guy. Yeah. He apparently he's been on set. So t- I've not. I have not. Seen I hope photos. it's not just flashback. I hope it's like she pulls him back because we did not get enough yeah. Quicksilver, man. Yeah. And I feel like that guy didn't get his due. No. I I actually kind of liked him better than the the X Men one. Yeah, like the X Men one did just cool personality stuff. wise. You know, he did cool stuff. But yeah, he was like kind of a uh, uh, quasi, you know, on the spectrum feeling yeah. in, in the X Men universe, which is no problem with. I, I think that that's an interesting way to try to, you know, I think Marvel did that with uh, with Drax well, sure. where where it seems like he's, you know, like his his race doesn't understand metaphor, which you know. People with Aspergers and stuff like that yeah. don't very, understand. Very that. literal. I, I uh, my wife sent me an article one time with this kid who was like a, a big fan of Drax because right. he can see himself in Relate. Drax because yeah, he, had, he had he had autism or something. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, I, I digress. Uh, do you think? How do I want to say this? Do you so you think that it is actually Wanda in there? So yes. you think that she's gone into like? I think she's trying to put him back together. She's piecing. <sighs> memories back together. Yeah, because are we going to see Shuri? Is she going to go to Wakanda to like, right. you know? Yeah, but why yeah. not? Yeah. That, like, I feel like that was kind of unresolved too yeah. a little bit, you know? So why not? Yeah. You know? God, this, now I'm more, I mean, this was the one I was the most excited for. I'm yes. not going to lie. Yeah. But um, I think it's got, besides what if, but I don't think that one counts. <laughs> yeah, what, and what if's going to be animated? <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, so I don't think that one counts. Yeah. But um, oh my God, I think, I really am digging your idea of they've just kind of maybe is laying the seeds for her to be the big bad. Yeah, like she's learning She's learning in this, so she's learning like you know. I'm just shooting off the hip. Maybe she she's clearly in Wakanda. At least she should be to like you know to get what Shuri yeah. had. So she's learning like Wakandan tech and how you know and even vibranium has like weird properties with magic. Right. Yeah. That's um, true. And then when she's in the multiverse of madness, like maybe, like maybe that's why they have to stop her because she's gonna go pull a vision from someplace else. Yeah. Right. Or she's gonna go and pull it, stones from someplace else. You know. I mean, there's tons of things it. that are gonna be there. Um, yeah. And I mean, I think that's where we might even get our Kang cameo. Yeah. Like, totally. You cannot be messing yeah. with that yeah. stuff. Yeah. I, I alone mess with time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm King the Conqueror. I think he is the 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 gatekeeper of time. That, that is my that is my stance. They're on really it. gonna turn that on its head too. I think so. We're gonna get a Everyone's lot of been doing that great with and, scroll switch. And again, they're being very quiet, guys. Yes. Yeah, too yeah. quiet. Yeah. A little too quiet, man. Yeah. Like DC's been way too loud in a negative and positive yeah, way. Right. And Marvel's just like. 
Like, hey, you do yeah. you. You guys, yeah, you guys good? We're gonna release something in December, which again, WandaVision, I believe, is scheduled now for December. Oh, so, awesome. Um at least we'll get something Marvel because it has been over a year since we've seen an MCU movie. Oh my god, it has. In July of last year was far from home. We have not seen an MCU movie in over a year. Yeah. I need, I need some fix, I need daddy. my fix, too. I need my fix, daddy. All right? So, I mean, so when is Black Widow still scheduled? Christmas? Or have they said anything yet? Or as they... far as I know, it's pulled from the slate right now. Shh. They're still saying November, but there is nothing... Let me just say, if they move it, I'm not going to be shocked at all. Me either. Please don't go Disney Plus, but just just move it, move it to February. Yeah. Let's just hope that we have a vaccine, and let's just like I want to see this thing just kill it at the box so. office. I want to see it on the big screen, like you're meant to see it on the big yeah. screen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't want people like, ruining it for themselves on on streaming. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I can't wait because like, dude, I'm so excited about Taskmaster. Yeah. Like, I wish his first appearances weren't weren't worth so much. I need a couple more, but uh, <laughs> they are. Uh, yeah, it just it looks like so cool. Like I'm excited. I wonder if if we're gonna get a reveal at all, or if he's just gonna keep the mask on. I think it's gonna be a chick. Interesting. I think I really think Taskmaster is going to be a woman. Yeah, just like my wife. Oh. Am I right? <laughs> just oh, there kidding, you baby. go. There I you go. You. Yeah, but you like you you'd like that. It's compliment, baby. Taskmaster's awesome. <laughs> I, I like, that's what I'm saying. I love a muscle a mimic. Task, I, you know that that such was the power. That was the first time I think I, I knew of a muscle mimic. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah like that's, that's, that's that such a cool read, power. Yeah. Well, and I mean, they even expounded on it later. Oh, like, really? Yeah, it, you know, just in terms of they, they kind of this was stupid, but they kind of tried to quasi make it like he can see into the future. Like just a few seconds because he's able to like see your body right, and right. predict what you're going to do. Sure. Um, and they did this uh, Marvel or uh, Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was a crazy dark story where like basically Wade had become sane. Okay. And was like, oh, this is all a joke. Right. And then he just starts like hacking his way through through the Marvel Universe. And like their last ditch effort, it was like, okay, we need to get. Uh, Taskmaster can stop him because because he, he's not gonna be able to touch him. He'll be able to kill him. Right. Uh, it was awesome. I killed the X Men too. We'll talk about that another time. Oh, nice. Uh, but yeah, and as he's getting there, like you know, Wade's kind of telling him that he's like, you know, you you can tell what I'm gonna do. Right, right. He's he's like, and I think that that's more than just like my body language. He's like, tell me, look at me, and know what I'm going to do. And then like the Taskmaster like gets terrified, and then Deadpool kills him. Oh, yeah, and it was awesome. Like he could like see based on his movements, like where this was going and it like freaked so he him played out. out the whole fight in his yes. head and went two seconds and it freaked like, him out yeah, yeah. Uh, it was that's awesome cool. it that was is awesome. very yeah. awesome man. yeah and it was like this whole fourth wall breaking thing because like he goes to uh, uh, where where Taskmaster faces off with him mm-hmm. is uh, at the Nexus in, okay. the, in the swamp with yeah. Man-Thing and uh, Man-Thing touches him he doesn't burn of course and uh, so he's like allowed to pass and when he goes through the Nexus like it's so meta and ridiculous it's spoilers uh he sees the artist like drawing the scene, and as he's drawing, it waits behind him, and you know that's how the book ended. It was ridiculous, but it was it. awesome. You yeah, know, that is like a total awesome one shot. Yeah, like you can't do that again. No. Too bad they did a second one; and it wasn't as See, good. Yeah. Um, yeah, because that's how you make money, man. That's how you make money. Jesus, <laughs> faux show. I am very excited. I'm actually more excited now about WandaVision now that we've talked about it. Yes. Uh, was that not your the one you were stoked on the most? Which one were you wanting? Um, I think that... No, I think it is the one I'm stoked on the most, but I got to tell you, the one we'll probably enjoy mm-hmm. um, is probably Falcon Winter Soldier just I, because it's going to be action-packed. I it's think got Loki's going to be good, too. Low-key going to be good, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think they're all going to be good. It's going to be amazing. Um, I'm curious. You know, the feeling I have towards these MCU TV shows, there's a lot more hope than what I had for the Netflix ones. And don't get me wrong, when Daredevil came out and it was yeah. awesome, mm-hmm. my, my hope went... But my hope was never for those as high as it is for these sure. uh, MCU ones. Mm-hmm. Um, um, had he not been... You know, had he not be my favorite comic book character, I, I would be totally um, like know what you're saying. But mm-hmm. just to see that was a it was a whole different thing. So see, I think I'm on that level again. Yeah, because I'm getting one of my favorites getting her own show. And yeah. I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna be awesome, dude. Yeah, you know, I've been able. Fortunately, I've been able to have you know a, a really good Thanos. Um, the uh, uh, apocalypse was a big. Um, you know, Phoenix has been done terrible twice. Uh, Joker has been done really well for me once. Uh, so like, you know, in terms of like my favorites, yeah. So I've never been in the position of you were like, right. Hey, th- I got a redemption. You got a, you got a redemption. I got a redemption yeah. with, uh, with a daredevil. Yeah. This was a, what do they call that on a, uh, on Tosh? 
like YouTube Redemption or oh, something yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got yours, and, I, and I'm happy. There is there was casting for another Marvel show. Oh yeah, and awesome. We were we were excited about it because of the the legal uh, jargon aspect of it. Oh yeah, courtroom uh -huh. drama. Uh -huh. She Hulk. She Hulk. Um, Tatiana. I don't know how to say her last name, but I think it's Maslani. Something like that. Um, she was from uh, uh, Orphan Black, which was a popular show. I did not see it I, myself. I've never heard of it. Um, <laughs> it, it. It was popular. It was an interesting idea where um, just my cursory knowledge of the show was she played numerous people on it. They were all like genetic experiments. Oh, yeah. So she got the opportunity to play a lot of different oh, characters. Okay. Oh, while, okay. That's cool. While, you, know, in yeah. like, you know, with accents and all that stuff. So my understanding, she's got the chops. I've not seen her in much of anything um, I, I just really know her name because people loved Orphan Black. Right, right. But she's going to be uh, you know, She-Hulk. She okay. And I'm excited because she does look like she can be a cousin to, to, Mark, to Mark Ruffalo. Right, right, yeah. right. Mark Ruffalo, uh, the kind of the, the, you know, he's, he's, he's the Hulk and the comic book, they're cousins. Yes. And she gets injured and uh -huh. she needs a blood transfusion right. and Bruce gives her one. And it ends up giving her like modified Hulk powers. Sure, um, she can control going back and forth. Right, um, and but she's not ever going to hit Hulk strength. No, she's ever. never going to hit Hulk strength except in that Brian Bendis story oh, yeah, where yeah. she completely hulked out. Yeah. So her hulking out isn't like a rage thing as much as it is just like, oh hey, I need to power up. She gets taller, she gets right. stronger, and she is really strong. A couple mm -hmm. tons. Oh yeah, yeah, you know? she'll kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but she's, uh, you know, again, we get another strong female character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We get somebody who has some name recognition in television. Uh, so I think that we're going to get, I think, I think we are going to get that. It was big amongst females. Yes. So we're going to get that female audience on She-Hulk where we might not have had this much to begin with. Sure. I don't know anybody whose favorite character is She-Hulk. Me either. You know what I mean? No. And the character's great on Avengers. I have a soft spot for her, uh, Fantastic Four appearances. Right, right. Um, just in the, in the eighties. Maybe even in the late seventies, they would often like uh, change out the strong person right, in the Fantastic yeah, Four. Yeah. It's been Luke Cage. It's been uh, She Hulk. It's right. been um, um, I'm trying to think who else has been like the, the strong man. Um, it's been regular Hulk. Oh yeah, oh, regular yep. Hulk's been there, there when they had that weird Fantastic Four with Ghost Rider, Wolverine. Oh, yeah. Was it Spider Man? I think it was Spider Man. Yeah, yeah it was dude. a weird, weird, and I that love that. Weird. I love that series weird. though. It's so strange that they just like dip for a little while. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, so yeah, good casting. I uh, you know at least the internet seems to be happy. Sure. I, I I um also am excited for the the um, legal the courtroom proceedings yes. because. Mm -hmm. Um, as much as I love Daredevil, I did not get enough of the courtroom drama that I wanted. Yeah, and like Matt's not even there enough. Half, yeah, yeah, it's just sucks. foggy. Yeah, yeah, it's just Matt's foggy. the worst lawyer ever, ever dude. Because that was like the great thing about fo uh, about Matt in the comics is yeah. like even though he was a cr like he's gonna miss his appointments, but he's gonna win those cases. It, it, right, right. Yeah, and he's not we, gonna give it to the the second dude in command. No, we got it a little bit in season one where he would like come in and do do the do the yeah, uh, and it was closing great. statement, and just kill it, you know. Justice is blind, stuff like that. Yeah, you yeah. Know? I wish I don't think he said. No, uh, not at all. thank God. Yeah, but um, yeah, I, I I want more of that in this, and then you know, I think we might even get a bit of the Ali McBeal aspect to this. Just you know, I'm not trying to be you know, you know, redundant here by by saying that. It's just that show was you know, it had a purpose in the late '90s. You're, you know, it had a very positive spin on female independence. Yeah, it did. So maybe I think we might be getting a bit because I think She Hulk's a little you know loose between the sheets mm -hmm. with the dudes you know she'll sleep around a little yeah. bit yeah her and Juggernaut have had had some sweet love okay you know there's only so many people that can that can handle the the She Hulk yeah. so um, and you know it'll be interesting if they do stuff like that what I really think is gonna uh, we're going to lack which was a a surprise thing in the comics that I enjoyed is during the Civil War in comics mm -hmm. she represents the the heroes that don't want to give away their identity right right they, they you know they, they sue the government and mm -hmm. she's the she's the the lead counsel for that right. so that that was very very interesting that's cool um so we're not going to get that since the civil war is already done but superhuman registration is still always a possibility a same thing with mutant registration mm -hmm. would be big, so we could really fold her into the oh, yeah. into the mutant registration stuff for sure uh, well uh they haven't said but they, they've got to stick to the bruce banner uh have to origin, even right? if we get mark ruffalo for five minutes yeah just to you know, yeah, Mark Ruffalo should be in the She-Hulk yeah, show just, for one episode. Yeah, just one episode. Yeah, which I, I think he'd do it. I mean, I, he, I, he bet, I bet he might even be contractually obligated to yeah. do these TV shows. Well, maybe, or you know, I mean, when you're an actor, when you're an activist, you always need some money. So oh, of course. you know, and, and 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 through his platform, he does get a lot of exposure. Right. And to his credit, while he is um, overly 
he is overly liberal in in a not in a negative way, but you know he's just he's he's constantly talking about it. I don't like seeing politics pol- uh, political stuff in my feed, but I do read what what Ruffalo sure, says, of course. and I agree with him sometimes, and I don't agree with him other times. Right, right. Um, so I think that if he can, and and I bet you he'd want to be a part of a show that has a strong female oh, character because yeah. he's very much into in, in the women's rights and yeah, everything. So I, it would be hard for me to not see to him see, not be yeah, yeah. right, right. I, I can't I can't imagine. You know, Marvel may just not uh, uh, talk. You know, ask him about it, but they've got to. Feige oh, knows. Sure. Feige knows. He knows he wants to see it. Because how else are you going to justify it? Yeah. Like how yeah, much? Just another like, gamma accident. Yeah. Which this? If you do that, I'm done. Sorry, yeah. I'm out. Yeah. I, I, honestly, I, I need the link. Yeah, me I too. Need the link. I need to. And I think it's a it's a cool little tie to to the to TV division to the uh, big screen division. Yeah. Which was lacking in the Netflix. Yes, we needed way more of those links. To make it uh, just to oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. oh there's a little nod yeah, right there yeah how, how much did we talk about did you guys did you guys catch the newspaper right. did you guys catch that like oh I love that you know when, cool. when Jessica Jones talks about uh, Captain America yeah, and yeah. stuff like that like mentions it like that was awesome it was very cool sorry man my my headphones messing with me <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm I'm very very excited me too I'm so stoked um, I, um, I think that's supposed to come out with next year. I'm assuming. Yeah, it's got to be. I mean, with the now, casting, you know? yeah. yeah, yeah. Who knows? Who knows? You know, things need to need to settle up. Disney needs to figure out their bubble situation. You know that that'll that'll be uh, uh, that'll be the direction to go. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Marvel Comics is doing something really cool, mm-hmm. and they are going to uh, put a banner, a rest in power. Uh, King Banner for Chadwick Boseman oh, on great. on I believe all of their comics over the next couple months. Uh, you know, putting you know his his birth date and 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 uh, an end date. Uh, and I just think that's really cool. I thought that that's was a really awesome. neat thing. I found a picture online. I'll put it up here. Yeah, right, right here. Did I put it up? All right, cool. Got to remember to do that. But um, it's a cool thing to do because they've only really done it for like Stan Lee, right? And then now Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. So um, there have been, you know, uh, in loving memories too, and stuff like sure. that. But when obviously when Stan died, everything had, of a, course. you know, every yeah. and this one is just gonna have a cool banner in kind of like a Wakandan look, but it's gonna talk about Chadwick Boseman. That's great. Um, and I think that's awesome. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's a good, it's a feel good thing to do. Um, Marvel, uh, you know, I, you know, obviously they would do it if you know. I think they would do it if any of the Avengers passed. But I think it's a it's a great way to honor the man whom you know. Man, the heartbreaking stuff I've been seeing online of like kids having like uh like burials for their Black Panther figures and stuff. Right. Oh uh-huh. my gosh. Like this is a, gonna be this is gonna be a really uh cool homage to, yeah, to, to the man mm-hmm. and his his impact on the world and on comics. Absolutely, so, dude. Big um, time. Big yeah. time, man. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be awesome. I I may buy all of those books just to have that. You know, for just, sure. Just man. pretty cool. Yeah, just yeah pretty it's cool. awesome, dude. Kudos to them. Very much so. And that's our show, kids. If you like what we're doing, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave us a comment. If you've got a cool show idea or something you'd like us to look into and just get our perspective on it, uh, yeah, well, we would love to do that. Let's have a little bit of interaction. Um, Eric, do you have any final thoughts for us today? <laughs> of course I do. Oh, all the time. All the, all the time. time. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, no, I'm, I, I think the direction we're going in with, with our entertainment, I was a little concerned mm-hmm. as far as, um, is this going to be getting to politicized mm-hmm. as far as you know everything but i think if they're going to keep going the route of watchmen yeah going into she hulk something like she hulk I, I can see this i can see this being something not only are we entertained by but something we can all learn from too yeah and apply like oh this is this is something that you know is happening right now mm-hmm. and you know show us lead by example yeah how do heroes handle this you yeah. know what i mean so that's what I'm looking forward to, man. Yeah. And I mean, the inevitable uh, She-Hulk, uh, you know, uh, the Jennifer Walters, uh, Matt Murdock face-off. <laughs> oh, like, Lloyd, oh, like yeah, yeah. if we're doing that in yeah. the, in the uh, movie-verse or whatever, yeah. Yeah, she, uh, Matt's going to send Foggy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matt's, oh, he's like the worst lawyer yeah. in the world. I mean, that bummed me out so bad. I know, I know. But, uh, I, I know I'm, you're a stickler for the law, so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, kids. Uh, thank you for having a nice final word for us. I love yeah. that. I love that. Yeah. All I know is you look like bad news, and I've got to have you. We will catch you next week, guys. Same REC time, same REC channel. That is from Kevin Smith. He does it all the time. It cracks me up. Thank you guys for watching. I've been your humble host, Roman Chavez. I'm still Eric Icarus. Oh, I love it. And we will see you <laughs> on the next podcast.